The horrifying terror attacks in Paris in 2015 and others across the European Union reinforced Europeans' resolve in fighting terrorism. The EPP group drew up a 10-point plan to sharpen and toughen Europe's approach to protect its citizens. Among the measures, an airline passenger name record system, or PNR, more stringent border checks backed by an EU-wide data bank to track down foreign fighters and lone wolves, cutting off terror financing, giving more help to the victims of terrorism, and new strategies in tackling radicalization in prisons as well as online. Monica Holmeyer spearheaded the EPP group's anti-terror measures. We started with a passenger name record and an entry-exit system and an allowance system to come into the European U Union called ETIAS, uh, the same as it is practiced in the United States, to reinforce Frontex. So we have already a lot of measures reinforcing security. But for terrorist um, counterfighting of terrorists, we need more. We need a brilliant information exchange. Brilliant means that we are able to react in, in one or two hours, uh, not to need 24 hours, 36 hours, or even days to inform each other in the member, member states. Parliament approved an EU directive that outlaws traveling abroad to join a terror group, terror recruiting and training, public incitement and terror financing. Holmaya says the new legislation could have stopped terrorist Anis Amri from crashing a truck into a Berlin Christmas market in 2016, killing 12 people. Information exchange in between Italy and Germany would have been very necessary to know more about this person, that he was already radicalized. The EPP group helped to push through legislation providing more assistance for the victims of terrorism. One of the worst kinds of uh, breaking human rights is to, vi uh, to violate people, to kill people in a terrorist attack, so the victims could tell you a lot. The EPP group also authored an amended EU directive to do a better job of choking off funding to terrorists, to cut the ties between organized crime and terrorism. The legislation clamps new controls on financial flows from so-called high-risk third countries, and it limits the use of prepaid cards. The EPP group has also backed a stronger effort to get terrorist content off the Internet. The European Parliament approved legislation with a one-hour rule to remove such content. In one hour there must be uh, an obligation to uh, take away, uh, to take from the platform uh, terrorist uh, content um, because most of, of, of any kind of radicalization starts at the moment online and they are very clever, they are very tough how they are doing, how they are attracting young people. So how much safer is Europe as a result of new anti-terror legislation? We still have a huge Islamist scene, but I have the impression that we are better prepared. But even so, uh, there are still a lot of measures that have to be done. For example, uh, new threats like uh, threats with drones or with chemical, uh, chemical or bio, uh, biological weapons are possible. And I think that EPP really had the lead in the European Parliament to, to bring security as main issue on, on the agenda.